gals in God's grace. Here it is, the post-wedding disaster. Oh my goodness, Amber, that's just about what my house looked like before you came and helped me clean. Trish, have you ever seen my house this messy? Absolutely not. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a little bit shocking. By the time we were done with the wedding, we had such a mess. We were so tired. There was just so much chaos going on that I literally just threw everything that I had brought to your house back into my house. And this is the result of that. My dress is even hanging on the curtain rod. <laughs> That is I so unlike that. me. I know. And then you had to bring home all the flowers that we didn't use. And there was a lot of stuff, the decorations and food. And it's, it was crazy. It was a mess. And we had stuffed everything into bags and brought it back to the house. So I had to go through all of that. Oh, my gosh. So here's that process. You guys are along for the ride. Of course, I had to do some laundry. That's the never-ending chore. The chore that I love. I don't yeah. mind doing it. It's my favorite chore too. But you always got to have clean clothes no matter how chaotic your life is. That's exactly right. It's all about that first impression and the power of presentation. Boom. So once I got some of the clothes sorted, uh, actually, I had to like, I had to, even my shoes, I had shoes stuffed in the bag. I had to put all this stuff away. Once I got the clothes sorted, I got to the flowers because they were overtaking my house, there were a lot of flowers. Unfortunately, we didn't get to use very many of them because it was so windy. That was sad. Yeah. There were some that were still in good condition, so we were able to, I was able to make a couple of arrangements, as you'll see. Absolutely. So, you did a fantastic job. Thank you, Trish. You're welcome. Boy. First, I just had to declutter that table. Right. Kind of clear your palate. That's right. Ooh, clear your palate. Hmm. Clear your palate. Clear a space where you can work. It's like clear a working space. Like before you drink wine, you clear your palate. That, you cleanse your palate. Right. That's so, exactly right. So it's kind of the same thing when you are getting ready to clean and you have all the stuff that you have to put away and organizing to be done. You get an area that you can work with. That sounds good. And that'll be your space. And then... Um, I had to shake out that tablecloth because the flowers had littered their pieces all over the tablecloth, so I shook that out. Plus, my cats really like to go on my tablecloth. Is that gross? <laughs> no. That grosses a lot of people out. It kind of grosses me out, but that's why I don't have cats. I don't I mind cats. I like cats great better cats. than mice. Yeah. So I prefer the cats over Absolutely. the... Absolutely. Because living in the desert, as we do, there's so many mice that I would much rather have cats than mice. Yep. So I've never had to worry about those little suckers. And maybe when you were like cleaning off the tablecloth outside, maybe there were like some seeds or something in the flowers that you had. Oh, plant some seeds. What a nice thought! Yep. So they're blowing in the wind, and they that got to replant right. themselves. Here I am, just filling up one of the vases that I had brought to the wedding, and I'm just going to weed through all of these flowers and pull out the. Look, I didn't even use those. They're still in the plastic. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to pull those out and make some pretty arrangements for the cleaning process I'm about to do. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. Look at you and you're it's exactly what you're doing. That was going to be Kyra's bouquet, but she ended up finding some flowers that she really loved. So she went with those other ones instead. And it's fine. I got to use the hydrangeas in my house. I know, and they look so pretty. Hydrangeas are just they're beautiful because they're it, it, it's, it's a nice big pop of color hydrangeas and eucalyptus you can't yep. go wrong with that that's exactly right oh that's really pretty amber and then i end up moving them later but <laughs> <laughs> now that's a trisha move that's all part of the process right you start Aww. here and then you move it to a different space that's okay that's right something years ago those cold nights in december and the sound of the falling snow the fireplace warming us the vhs movie box your old broke down touring bus and not a single cloud in the sky if i could go back in time I'd pack my bags right now If I could play back rewind I wouldn't think twice A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt We didn't have a dime So a lot of 
of things that were Kyra's and things that were mine and even things that were Trisha's got mixed up. So I'm going to start a pile right over here of Kyra's things. Hey, do you remember? Sneak it out in the night. Me playing the fan up and you singing, oh, it's all here is for Kyra's stuff and then the one over here is my stuff that needs to go upstairs and I have some stuff up there also I wouldn't think twice a pair of jeans and a dusty shirt we didn't have a dime no you and me were poor as and all we had was time when you and me were poor as and all we had Still remember when you walked into the room Think I knew right then that it was always you Something in your eyes, it was all so true Step I took, they all led to you We were young and running free We were never meant to be But I could not see you go Cause of you Don't wanna waste another minute Without you Okay, I've got everything sorted into piles. My stuff to go upstairs, some stuff out to the car, Kyra's things. So all those bags are emptied. Tabletop is cleared off, countertop is cleared off. I do have some crafts that need to go out to the garage. I need to sort through that. And then all I have left are some cups, plates, napkins, plastic ware, and I've got the wash going, so that's almost done. Now I have to say I do not recommend putting things away in such a haphazard way as you'll see me do here. I was purely in survival mode. My house was a wreck and I had to get things put away. But that cabinet definitely needs to be cleaned out and organized. So try not to judge me too much. I was just trying to get the job done. <laughs> Trisha just fell asleep. I just totally fell asleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Trish. She was literally with her eyes closed and her hand on her cheek, and she was tilted over. Oh, my gosh. Almost snoring. <gasps> snoring? <laughs> almost. Okay, so in my small defense, I was up till 1 o'clock in the morning last night working, and then I got up at 6.30 this morning to water and get ready for you. Yes, she did. Uh, hey, I was up till 1 a.m. too. Oh, so wait, what time did you sleep in, though? Well, like 6.50. Oh, so I guess I have no excuse. <laughs> well, one o'clock was when I left town, so I probably got I probably got to sleep about one thirty. Oh, I was definitely asleep earlier than that. Oh my gosh. 
All right. Well, as you can see, we're busy ladies. So messy cabinets is part of the deal. That's right. It just happens. Our heart is to be clean and organized, but sometimes, you know, you just got to survive. Exactly. So that's the way it goes. But we are moving forward and that's we've right. got big plans. We've got actually some really fun stuff up our sleeve, don't we, Amber? Hey, but let this be a lesson to you that you don't have to be so hard on yourself. If your life is a little messy, it's just the way it goes. Exactly. It's life. And it's, nothing is going to be perfect. Nothing is always going to be as it should be. It's just a constant work in progress. And you just have to take it one day at a time. That's right. And as long as you have Boom. goals, like Trish was just saying, we do have some exciting things coming up. Mm -hmm. You always have something to look forward to, and you just That's take right. each day as it comes and enjoy the process. Even if your friend's starting to fall asleep, you can laugh at her and just, uh, you know, think, just be lighthearted and have fun with it. Hey, you got your <laughs> nap before work. I did. I was glad to be of some service. <laughs> <laughs> and I will love you in the dark. And if you ever Just hold on If you just hold on Don't think I could ever Love the way you do I'll try to make it up If you need me to So Trish is always really gracious talking about how I she likes my cooking, mm -hmm. but I have to tell you, I really enjoy the easy way out, like this chicken that I got from Costco. Spatchcock? Fully prepared, already marinated. Oh my gosh, that looks good. I shouldn't say fully prepared. It still needed to be cooked. Wait, is that, the tom is that tomatoes on top? It's grapefruit. What? It's grapefruit. It's like a citrus chicken. I'd never had it before. And to be truthful, it was only okay. My husband wasn't a huge fan. But how easy is this? Oh you turn gosh. on the oven. You take out this already marinated chicken. You put it in for 375 degrees. And Boom. you leave it. Boom. It's done. I had all this cleaning to do. And dinner was done in a jiffy. It was oh so easy. Oh my gosh. Amberlicious. And it looks like I spent time on it, right? I've never thought of putting grapefruit with chicken. Me that's, either. That's, that sounds really good. Apparently it's a thing. Spatchcock. Spatchcock. <laughs> Spatchcock chicken. Oh my gosh. Okay. Someday we will tell you guys the little joke behind... Our yeah, giggles. we have some silly stories. We have some silly stories, yes. You'll want to stick around for mm -hmm. those. So what are you doing now, Amber? Well, remember I told you I didn't leave those flowers where I had put them before? I don't remember you saying that because I think I was sleeping. Probably. This is their <laughs> new home. <laughs> <laughs> those are so pretty. So now I'm just picking up the living room. And I had some things downstairs. I need to go upstairs. Then I'm just going to dust, vacuum, and boom, just make it boom. all nice and fresh. Oh, my gosh. Look at you. You're even dusting the wall. Yeah, that railing gets pretty dirty. Oh, I bet. It's kind of a pain. I will love you in the dark. Without you, I will love you in the dark. And if you ever fall out, please don't leave me out. Cause I will love you till I'm gone. If you just
just hold on. So now I'm going to clean the couches. I have pets. I have a dog and I have three cats and they inevitably leave hair everywhere, including on the couches. Nuh -uh. And that tool, that Chom Chom tool I got on Amazon, it is amazing. You guys are about to see what comes off the sofas. It's like a lint roller kind of, but it collects everything in this chamber and it's perfect for the dog hair. Oh my gosh. So it's great for pet hair then. Great for pet hair. I highly recommend it. It's so much easier than getting out the vacuum and all the attachments. It's this tiny little tool. Watch this. Boom. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? That's really cool. Some of it's lint, but yeah, it's great at cleaning up all of the pet hair. So if you have pets, I highly recommend that tool. And chom delicious. Chom on Amazon. And we actually aren't going to get paid for that because we got kicked off of Amazon for not selling anything. <laughs> So you could be happy. laughing. You could be happy to know that if you buy this tool, it's really because we just really truly love it. Obviously, exactly. we would never recommend anything that we don't love anyway. But yeah, we're not even getting a kickback yeah, for that. We're, we're not no kickbacks. This is just what we love. It's just a great a, a great tool. Remember how it started I was lost in a dream When the fire in my heart said An open rose I've already found some light The feeling grows And anything sounds alright I'm breaking loose Passion flower? Compassion flower. Compassion flower. Okay, I smelled that today and it smells so good. I don't know if Grove is still carrying it, which is where Amber got it from, but boy, did it smell nice. I was really impressed. It is limited edition, but they may still have some left. Hmm. So if they do, or they might, you definitely should check it out if you're interested because it smells amazing. It does smell pretty good. Although I'm ready for those fall scents. Mm -hmm. Me too. Acorn spice. And I want mums. Mums. Yeah, they do oh, have mums. Mums. That's, that is my favorite scent. So you're still vacuuming and um, uh, getting everything nice and clean. Constant with the pet hair, that's for sure. Yep. I don't have to worry about that because there are no pets in my house. But um, I can just uh, watch you and, and be glad that I don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here it is, mostly done. I'm not gonna rehang that wreath right now. I think I'm gonna wait till next year because I wanna start putting up all of my fall stuff. So I have a fall wreath that I'm going to hang up. Kyra needs to pick up her stuff. And living room is dusted and clean. Dining room is clean.
clean. I still need to clean off that side table, but priorities. Got most of it done. And kitchen is clean. And most importantly, dinner is in the oven and it looks really good. Can't wait to try it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.